Being fairly honest with you, I'm surprised that we didn't see a counterfeit amiibo thing earlier in Smash Brothers history because, I mean, we kind of knew that this would be a thing for a little while now, but only now fake amiibo are actually starting to pop up on the market, and of course they are from China, the counterfeit capital of the world. Let's look a little bit more into this article from Nintendo News, which will be linked in the description below as usual. So, um, online retail service Ally Express is selling a four-piece set of counterfeit ami amiibo figures. Link Mario, Samus, and Pikachu, manufactured by a Chinese company. Pictures of fake Amiibo from the Smash Brothers Amiibo series surfaced a few days ago, and at the time it was uncertain whether or not the products were fan-made creations or online knockoffs. And I saw a couple of these from before, a lot of you guys were linking me on this on Twitter. Um, I just didn't get a chance to report on them. And, you know, I mean, I was trying to find the articles themselves, but this one popped up, so I'll just go into covering on this one. At the time it was uncertain whether or not the products were fan-made creations or online knockoffs. It has since been discovered that the toys are clearly counterfeit, are being distributed by online retailer AlliExpress.com and manufactured by Chinese goods company Guangzhou JB Trading Company. Um, well, what does LTD stand for? Uh, you know, this is something I should definitely know. But anyways, the product listing on AliExpress refers to each figure as Nintendo Action Toys. Not once does it mention Amiibo anywhere on the page. A tactic likely to keep the counterfeit Amiibo listing out of the spotlight. We've included images of the four knockoff Amiibo below, and it would be interesting to see if any of the figures were actually compatible with the Wii U's gamepad, NFC, reader, and writer. Well, obviously they're not going to be. I mean, they're goddamn counterfeit, unless they took the bases from the original Amiibo and put them on their fake ones, but that sounds like way too much work for a Chinese counterfeit company to go through. But then again, you know, maybe I'm underestimating them. Maybe they did go that extra step. Some of these counterfeits are good enough to be as, <laughs> as functional as the original sometimes. It's, it's hilarious, but true. Um, Ally Express has a long list of reviews, written largely by unhappy customers, but a complete sham of dispute system of a dispute system. The amount was not worth the effort disputing with my credit card company, one customer said, when explaining their experience with the company. Launched in 2010, Ally Express offers products mostly from small Chinese businesses to international online customers, and it's one of many smaller companies under the larger Alibaba Group, a major Chinese online shopping company. And I've heard of Alibaba before. These guys are major, man. A lot of products that we purchase from our stores are actually um, distributed from Alibaba in some form or fashion. They, these guys have a huge conglomerate going on. Alibaba's slogan is global trade starts here. So let's see what these pictures look like because these are counterfeit and you can kind of tell man like there's a little bit of something off about it although they are really good counterfeits to be honest with you. Maybe at a first glance you wouldn't be able to tell but the base of this Link Amiibo is just real shaky. It looks like a stick of cheese, old ass cheese. And it's a little bit off center, you know what I mean? Um, the sword is a little bent here too, but you know, at first glance, maybe you wouldn't be able to tell, but these are only pictures. There might actually be more discrepancies if you really got a chance to look at it up close with your own Link Amiibo that's official. There'll definitely be some things off, but I guess I can see how at first glance you wouldn't be thrown off by this, except for the block of cheese standing here. Um, the Mario Amiibo. This one is definitely a bit more hard to tell. Um, the pose and everything looks alright. And to be honest, like I'm saying, these aren't really bad counterfeits. There's certain things that I guess give it away, and certain parts where the quality of the paint job is not as precise as the Amiibos, the official ones at least. But you know, this is definitely not bad. I am, I mean, I mean, it's bad that they're making these. Like they, they're taking advantage of customers and misleading them. That's bad. But the actual work of the Amiibo itself, the fake one, isn't so much. You know what I mean? This is definitely misleading. The Samus one as well. Um, yeah, man, you really can't. I mean, like one thing I know is that the shoe, well, the, the stand for the shoes is um, supposed to be transparent, right? It looks like she has fucking heels on, big ass ones, but um, it's supposed to be transparent. It doesn't look like it is transparent. And there's just certain things with it. It, may, it looks a little bit more raw than the original. It doesn't look as polished, you know what I mean? Even though this comes very scarily close to the original. And usually with counterfeits, especially of action figures, they don't tend to take much of a likeness, or at least in terms of the quality, to the real alternative. So, kind of disturbing that they're hitting these this close to the mark. Usually counterfeits don't hit this close to the mark. You can tell they're fake just by glancing at them. The Pikachu one being the most obvious of all of them. Well, well, not really the most obvious, the most indistinguishable from all of them because Pikachu lacks a lot of the intricate details that a humanoid like Samus would look, um, well, not, she's not a humanoid, she's a human, but you know, a humanoid like, like Mario or whatever. It'll be difficult telling differences in Pikachu because he's more of a just general base character, um, a lot more smooth, um, 
smooth lines on him, whereas characters like this require a lot more precise detail, which they hit really well, which I'm surprised by. Um, Pikachu, definitely tough to tell. Certain details like on the tail and whatnot, like the brown part is supposed to kind of like spike into the yellow. Um, but yeah, everything else is kind of really indistinguishable. You would have to look really closely to the original and this one to be able to tell the difference. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to know, have any of you guys in the comments or anybody who's watching this ever had a chance to get your hands on one of these fakes? If you do, make a video please making a comparison between the fake one and the real one. And it'd be really interesting to see um, what the actual differences are. I would pull out my Amiibo right now, but that's a long way away from here, and I don't want to open the boxes up on top of it all, but um, let me know, and I don't, I don't even think I have Pikachu, Samus, Mario. I do have Link. Yeah, I do have Link, you know what? G give me a second. Okay, so we got my dude Lunk from Pennsylvania, and uh, yeah, like I said, this, oh, it's fun, kind of funny, this stand on him isn't really centered as well either. Yeah, it's not really centered. And a little bit of the color is off. You know, it's so funny, the, the official Amiibo doesn't really look all that good either. <laughs> I mean, it looks good, but it's like, it has its little things that are off too. Um, but yeah, the main thing that gives it away is that cheese block. But um, yeah, man, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole thing. And if you did manage to get your hands on one of those fakes, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.